Have you ever played a video game so much you dream about it? If so, then you could be partially experiencing what is known as the Tetris Effect. Basically, the Tetris Effect happens when you play so much Tetris that you are constantly trying to find out how to fit things together in reality. For example, have you ever thought about how boxes on a shelf can fit together, or even how shoes on a shoe rack can perfectly align to create a solid block? Some experiencing this effect can even hallucinate legit Tetris blocks coming together in real life. So, let's talk about some Tetris basics and then go into why some of us experience the Tetris effect. Tetris is a game we all know and love. This is a classic game made in the early 1980s in Soviet Russia and is actually the first entertainment software to be exported from the Soviet Union to the United States. The creator, Alexei Pashnov, was inspired by Tetraminos. Tetraminos is a puzzle in which the pieces are comprised of four squares that can fit together perfectly. Tetraminos have been popular in puzzle games since the early 1900s. Overall, Tetris has sold more than 170 million copies, 70 million of that being physical copies, and over 100 million copies on cell phones, making this the best-selling paid downloaded game of all time and considered by some to be the greatest puzzle game of all time. So, where did the Tetris Effect come from? The phrase Tetris Effect was coined by Jeffrey Goldsmith in 1994. Goldsmith talks about how he was playing Tetris so much, he would dream of blocks fitting together at night, and when he would venture out during the day, he would involuntarily visually fit cars, trees, and people together. He even describes Tetris as biochemical, that he craved finding patterns and organization. He even admits to building blocks and other objects for the sole purpose of fitting them together in real life. Think of it like running on a treadmill. If you run on a treadmill for 30 minutes straight at an incline, when you get off the treadmill on solid ground, it takes a few minutes for your legs to adjust back to walking on a non-moving surface. Tetris Effect works in a very similar way. If you play Tetris for eight hours a day, it makes sense that when you walk away from it entirely, that you start to experience hallucinations or some sort of withdrawal in your mind. You can also experience the Tetris effect playing other games. For example, say you are an avid jigsaw puzzle solver. If you work on enough puzzles for a large amount of your day, you will eventually start to notice curves in objects and try to imagine a piece that would perfectly fit into that curve. People who like to play with Rubik's Cubes also experience a type of Tetris effect. They will start to see things move linearly and even start to hallucinate different types of cube algorithms. You can definitely experience this effect by playing more modern games like Candy Crush on your phone. Some users on r slash Rocket League even attest to sitting in traffic and thinking of flying off in their cars. Now, if you play a lot of video games, you might find yourself dreaming of your most recent virtual adventure. While this experience isn't strictly the Tetris effect, it is certainly in the same wheelhouse. For example, I played Skyrim for a total of 235 hours over the span of a few months, and sometimes would play for 5 to 6 hours straight. At night, I often dreamt of my character and different elements of the game. So, if you are playing a video game, whether it's an RPG or a multiplayer game for hours on end, the likelihood of you dreaming of that specific game at night is highly likely. Now, dreaming about a game and the involuntary hallucination of elements in a game are two different things. If you dream about Tetris, that is technically a form of hypnagogia. Hypnagogia is when you are on the cusp of going into a deep sleep, but you are still experiencing a dream. This is also referred to as hypnagogic hallucinations. It's the state of sleep where some people can also experience lucid dreams and sleep paralysis. The actual hallucination of Tetris pieces or different elements of a game in real time is the strict definition of Tetris effect. Harvard professor Dr. Bob Stickgold has not only taken quite an interest in the Tetris effect, but he's also curious as to why we dream so much about video games. Dr. Stickgold's hypothesis is based around emotion that basically dreams are a recap of the emotions you experience that day or over time, rather than specific activities. Stickgold says that video games have a lot of emotion attached to them and that, quote, emotion is a really good indicator for your brain that what you are doing in that moment is important by definition, unquote. So your brain marks those emotions and plays them during your dreams to spark some type of recognition. 
So whether you are dreaming about Tetris or your favorite RPG, it's interesting to think how video games can become not only a source of entertainment, but an emotional experience that you could possibly hallucinate. This is Fake Life Lore. Thanks for watching.